Hi guys! Today we are going to be multiplying numbers by themselves. So let's start with the 1. And if we multiply that by itself, it will be 1 times 1 equals, and there's only one bead here, so the answer is 1. When we multiply a number by itself, we can also write it like this. 1 squared. So a large one with a little two. Let's do the next one. So the next one would be two times two. So here I have one, two, three, four. And we can also write that as 2 squared. Hey, and do you notice what shape it makes? Did you say a square? Let's do another one. This time we'll do the threes. 3 times 3 equals, here we have 3. This time I'll point and you count. Count on from three. How much did you get? Nine is correct. And again, we can write this as three squared. And what do you notice about the shape? Yep, it's also a square. All right, I'm going to do one more. I think that's all I have room for on my paper, and then you can do the rest by yourself. So next are the fours, and we're going to multiply four by itself. So four times four equals. Okay, here we have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I'll let you count and I'll point. Okay, how many did you count? 16. And, do you see a pattern? How would we write four squared? Mm -hmm. Four, and the little two means it's squared. So we have one times one equals one, or one squared. Two times two equals four, or two squared. Three times three equals nine, or three squared. Four times four equals 16, or four squared. Oh, and what shape do we have here? Yeah, another square. All right, so you can continue and do the rest of these on your own and record them on paper. All right, see you next time.